Alright guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm with a new Volkswagen Polo GTI 2022 facelift and in this video it's all about review. We will review the car, interior, exterior, technical data. You will find out everything about the car in this video so stay with me until the end. Before we go forward with the video I want to tell you that I have a separate video, the same car, test drive. There I give you all the information about how is to drive on the road, uh, acceleration brakes visibility comfort and all kind of stuff so check out that video if it's not already on the channel click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out as well now guys if you are in Switzerland around Switzerland check out Amag in Bern I will leave the link in the description so if you want to buy the car test drive the car see the car check them out totally deserve it the car that I have with me here it's a testing car that means it already have 2800 kilometers and it already have a discount because the new new car the new price for the car here in Switzerland it's 42,060 francs but this car already have almost 3,000 kilometer and that means you will get a very nice discount for a brand new car in my opinion it's a brand new car 3,000 kilometer is nothing and the price will be 38,900 francs so pretty good price check them out I think it's a good price for what this car offer and you will see as we go in the video other than that I want to give you some technical data about the car and also I will explain you all those features that the car come with so for example it comes with a new discovery pro navigation system the new digital cockpit it comes also with DCC dynamic chassis control that is incredible on the road. I explain you that as I drive in the test drive. So check out the test drive. LED metrics, LED lights. So the latest technology, IQ light from Volkswagen. Amazing lights. You will see it also try to make a video in the nighttime. But now I want to give you some deeper technical data and then we will start the review. So this Volkswagen Polo GTI 2022 come with a two liter petrol engine TSI four cylinders in line, 204 horsepower, 320 newton meters. It's a front wheel drive system and it's connected with a seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission. The combined consumption estimated 5.6 liters. Also, it comes with a 40 liter petrol tank. The CO2 emission 154 grams VLTP estimated and the top speed of the car 240 km per hour, 0 to 106.5 seconds. The car comes with ventilated brake disc on the front and normal brake disc on the rear. Usually the car comes standard with 17 inch rims, but on this model, because they already change the winter tires, we have 16 inch rims. Also the turning radius of the car 10.6 meters. The trunk space boot capacity 355 liters and if you fold down the seats completely you will have 1125 liters. The car come with front suspension independent McPherson coil spring with anti-roll bar and rear suspension semi-independent coil spring so the suspension are quite good on the car. So those are the most important information about the car guys. Now let's start the review exterior interior and in the end we will make the conclusion as always. All right, guys, let's start the review as always with the key. Volkswagen still keep this old key on this new Polo GTI version. And I don't know why, because the new key from Golf, it's super, super nice. And that glossy, glossy plastic, it's incredible black glossy plastic. But yeah, they still keep this. It's simple, it's light, it doesn't matter too much for me at least. What you can do with the key, of course, you can unlock the trunk. It doesn't come with automatic lift gate, but you can unlock it from here. Uh, and also you can lock and unlock the car. The car come also with keyless entrance. That means if you put your finger here, you can lock the car and you can see immediately uh, that the car come with electric folding mirrors. And also you can unlock the car by having your hand right here. And this system, this keyless entrance system from Volkswagen work really, really good. And also it's great that the car come with electric folding mirrors. Now, this is all what you can do with the key. Now I want to turn on the lights and we will talk a little bit about the exterior design. All right, guys, great. I just turned on the lights and also I turn on the engine so you can hear it as well. What I notice is that the engine it's pretty silent from the exterior so you cannot hear it so loud also the shape of the car it's quite similar i'm a little bit sad because i have a black car i see a red one in the interior i will make another video with it that looks much nicer i think in a white bright colors the shape of the cars will be much more uh, nicer and also because we have these rims kind of not original rims and we have 16 inch 
tires on the car it doesn't look as it's supposed to look and I'm a little bit sad that I have to review this and I cannot review the original with original rims so for this reason check out the other video if you want to see it a little bit better but I still want to make the, uh, the review the same shape with a little bit of changes element changes for example the roof spoiler up there we have two exhaust pipe in the back a little bit different uh, the down skirt the back bumper also we have the gti in the middle the lights are wonderful they are the same iq lights that polo use it also on the normal model and they are really great i totally recommend you to get it other than that the car look attractive compact and it still kind of keep that classic shape of uh, Volkswagen cars another thing that it's different is the front bumper that look quite aggressive and I tell you on other color uh, on other color will look even better now let's go a little bit closer we will start with the upper part of the car here we have some sensors for light and raining the camera for reading the traffic speed limit lane assist and all that safety feature the car come with travel assist the latest is uh, autopilot from Volkswagen that it's really good I test it out in the test drive so check out if you want to see it also nice aggressive lines here on the hood look also wonderful in the front here we have the GTI red insertion also here we have LED light in the nighttime you can see it even better uh, crossbar around here the grill here we have some air intakes everything look fine some glossy plastic here's the logo behind the logo is the radar for adaptive cruise control and all that travel assist settings down here another air intakes with the radiator that allowed the air to come inside to cool down the different parts also we have some fog lamps down here led lights you can see it i don't know if you can see it because it's super light outside but they still have this honey honey cup design some plastic down here added elements on the side that make this skirt on the bumper a little bit more aggressive what was impressive for me was the fact that the car come with six parking sensors in the front this is great i like that very much also here we have the iq light this is the latest this technology in terms of light and as you know volkswagen group they are one of the best in terms of lights so we have matrix led the turning signals led the high bin is here the low bin is here lovely i mean in terms of lights guys they are really really good i can go a little bit forward to see it maybe you can see it but the lights are, are crazy crazy good in the nighttime and also i like that bar in the middle uh, it fit quite nice with the car now going forward on the both sides we have the gti uh, logo here also the mirrors pretty simple the same color as the car with some sharp edges here on the mirror led light on the blinkers uh, quite small mirrors but nice and compact and the visibility is good blind spot technology in the corner here i think you can see it also the handles uh, are pretty simple the same handles the quality of the doors it's classic for volkswagen the same quality you have also the volkswagen added here on the side that looks quite nice other than that i like the fact that we have tinted windows here on the side and also in the back and i like very much this roof spoiler here i think the roof spoiler is spectacular it's nice it's sporty and it has some nice nice angle and lines added to it and also here on the upper side the only thing that i would change on the car is the radio antenna and if you look at the radio antenna you have to add a stick here and i wish it was somehow integrated there in the body but other than that it's quite fine tinted window in the back you have this wiper here in the back as well yeah other than that uh, also this look nice the new logo with the gti in the back uh, the lights look lovely in the back and also we have following turning signals uh, this is the fog lamp led reverse light led everything it's led it looks it looks super super nice also i can go a little bit backwards so you can see even better uh, from this angle then in the back we have some light reflectors again six parking sensors in the back as well i see some suvs that doesn't have six parking sensors so this is a good thing down here on the number plate we have led lights two led lights again a great thing and also down here on the skirt again some elements black uh, plastic elements down here and two real exhaust pipes nice and also the sound it's it's quite nice when you drive the car in sport mode anyway here on the right side we have the tank here is the tank 40 liter tanks 
and down here on the downskirt, as I tell you, they add this plastic to make it much more sportier and also to protect the down part. So this is this is the car. It's, it's just it's just fine overall. It's, it's just fine. Those are the rims, kind of not original rims. So don't take it into consideration. You can erase it from your mind. Uh, those are winter tires. That way they change it. The original one are inside 16 inch rims tires uh, here we have the brake discs on the rear with red brake caliper and we have ventilated brake discs on the front uh, with red brake caliper a little bit bigger here in the front so overall um, this is the exterior i hope i didn't miss uh, anything guys i want to show you the engine bay but in the same time i will kind of stop the lights and also stop the engine Put it on auto, stop the engine, open up the hood. And I want to show you, it's very simple to open the hood. It's right in the middle. It's super, super simple. This is a manual thing and it's quite heavy. I mean, for a sporty car, if this was aluminum, they will save some uh, weight and you can make the car even faster and more efficient. Here we have the engine, two liter petrol engine, four cylinders in line to have 207 horsepower. The same array as Volkswagen uses with the air filtered 12 volt battery, the liquid, and yeah. The same opening, quite nice, quite fancy. I like now these days the Polo, it's kind of the same size as, uh, as Volkswagen Golf. So I don't think it make any sense to buy a Golf these days if you want a compact car. At least for me, if I would buy, um, if I want to buy a Golf, I totally go with Polo. Maybe because you have the same space, 355 liters here in the trunk. You have some handles. The triangle is up here. The entrance is relatively big, so you have enough enough space here to carry your stuff. So it's kind of a Golf, uh, an old Golf. You don't have a flat floor, but you have a few centimeters here, maybe seven centimeters deepness. Uh, in the corners here, you don't have, yeah, you have a hook, but you don't have a 12 volt port. You have a normal light, no LEDs, just a normal halogen light. And then you have this under floor here where usually it should be a spare tire, but it's not. You have a big space here. You can put a spare tire if you want. If you take this out, you can put a spare tire here, but you have this battery. That's the thing, guys. I mean, I'm not sure what is this battery here. It's not a 12 volt battery, maybe it's a 12 volt battery. Why I see another battery in the front? I don't, I don't know. Tell me, guys, why is this here? I, I should ask this. Here is the sound system, the the Bose sound system, but I don't know why is the battery here. It's not a mild hybrid, or it is. It's not a mild hybrid. They move the battery in the back. I don't know how it works. I should ask that before. Uh, but I forget about this anyway if you want to fold down the seats here in the back you have 60 40 the, the downside on these compact cars is that you cannot fold the middle part to carry skis but other than that I like the fact that the seat, the seat belt will stay on the side so you don't have to worry about the seat belt when you fold down the seats because the seat belt will stay on the side and this is a great thing very useful and once you fold down the seats you will see that you have plenty of space here in the back to put your things even big items you can carry big items uh, without any problem so yeah relatively nice i like it open this door the opening it's big big enough uh, and here you can see how much space you have so one more time you can see in the trunk there the entrance and the space down here it's not a completely 100 percent flat floor but it's almost flat and also you have some storage space on the legs room even though the transmission tunnel it's relatively big uh, you have plenty plenty of space there now i want to put everything back and then we will go in the interior to continue the review for of that i want to talk a little bit about the door uh, here we have a big window from one piece and uh, here we have everywhere on the door in the back here we have plastic so if you look from the distance you don't know what is the material it looks fine it's it's a good quality plastic but it's plastic everywhere even here where you rest your arms here is the button for uh, electric uh, windows in the back here we have a speaker and here we have some storage space quite good very useful this storage space much bigger and in bigger cars uh, from other companies now the entrance is relatively big so nothing to complain about the entrance and once you're here you can see also the interior and the space we will go there in a second to to measure the space 
The seats, we have fabric material seats, those nice GTI seats uh, with red insertion and side support here. Uh, I love the seats, to be honest. I like them very much and what I like the most on the seats from Volkswagen is that they are super, super comfortable. They, I know they make a lot of tests on those seats before, years before, and I know you never have uh, back pain from them. Uh, also, you have Isofix for child. You can install two child seats in the back, and also you can install another child seat in the front. This is also another good thing. Here in the middle, you don't have a transmission tunnel. This is a downside, uh, but it's good that they make somehow a place for a third person, and I will show you in a second. Behind the front seats, fabric material storage space here, uh, two USB-C ports, very useful, and also a big transmission tunnel, as all the Volkswagen Group cars have once you go inside the sound insulation is good this is the space i'm 173 centimeters so i have so four and a half fingers i i actually adjust the seats in my driving position so now you can see the real space here so this is the space for me it's more than enough 173 centimeters i can stretch my legs under the front seat so i have a good comfort i can complain about the comfort in the back visibility on the windows it's fine also you have a small window here it's relatively fine and also the comfort i think it's it's good i'm not sure for long long trips like 2000 kilometers but for short medium trips you will be fine here uh, once you go in the middle yeah let me go in the middle once you go in the middle it's a little bit stiffer and you have a little bit less space on the head but overall on the back it feels much better because you don't have that uh, armrest in the back it's much much comfortable there and i sit quite quite nice i can stretch my hand completely left right not so much so i mean uh, free people here for medium trips will be fine but not super super comfy and also on my legs room i have like less space here three fingers two three fingers but it's okay for me it's fine i can complain about that you have some led lights here quite nice and also the quality of the roof it's good as on all volkswagen cars in the front we will go right now the dashboard it's lovely the same design as on the normal uh, polo the only difference is the steering wheel and also the stock the steering wheel look lovely and also the stock uh, it's also much more sporty and interesting now anyway let's go in the front guys great now we are going in the front we have a big window from one piece that means good visibility in the mirrors and this is a good thing now here in the front we have a little bit of soft material here we have plastic everywhere on the upper side then you have some glossy nice gray the handle feel good quality lock and unlock button some chrome design here we have plastic in this area here we have stuff material where your arm is resting so this is fine i like that uh, electric adjustable windows and also electric adjustable mirrors uh, heated mirrors and also folding mirrors from here lock the windows uh, handle you have storage space enough big 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 storage space much better than most other uh, cars manufacturers also we have a speaker here gti logo on the nice plate i like it i like the way it looks also big entrance in the front you can see from here relatively big and also you can see the seats the fabric material gti special seats manual adjustable seats that's something to keep in mind and also uh, fabric material seats but they are super comfy and they look quite nice and also they have a nice nice design here with the red insertion they are bright and i have big enough like in an suv big big seats aluminum pedals down there i like that and they are great and also we have still this classic light controllers here uh, they didn't change it uh, but i like the fact that you have soft material here in this area and i like the ambient light you have ambient light inserted here i don't know if you can see it but here it's ambient light and i like it it looks nice in the night time and also this ambient light come on the door in this area as well and then the vents feel very good good quality uh, glossy plastic chrome design in this area soft material on the upper side here everywhere on the on the dash on the upper side it's soft material and this is great now let's go inside the car ah uh, because it's too much sunny outside i have to move the car let me move it together ah by the way manual handbrake this is great for sporty car now if i go in drive actually let's park the car if i go in drive the car is super light i explained that also when i did the the test drive 
let me show you the reverse camera it's great by the way i have to show you anyway the reverse camera it's great but the resolution is not perfect but it's great i mean it's you have much much better visibility than other cars and also i like the fact that it has blind spot you can see it has blind spot monitoring when a car is coming it's warn you this is a great feature safety feature and also it has six parking sensors in the front six parking sensors on the rear great manual adjustable steering wheel up down left right depend how you want to adjust it uh, it comes with gorgeous steering wheel one of my favorite steering wheel on the market uh, volkswagen use it on on golf and also golf r uh, gti amazing steering wheel the size the grip here up with the stitches the grip here in this area it has a nice grip i don't know how can i explain you that but it has a super super nice grip lovely steering wheel totally totally recommend you to get it gti here some red insertion red stitches beautiful beautiful finishing uh, on the steering wheel also uh, we have some pedals here to change the gear manually if you want to have some fun uh, the new digital cockpit that uh, come on the car as well here we have some kind of touch buttons i don't know i'm not such a big fan because sometimes are confusing but you can get used with them in time but here is the cruise control and autopilot this uh, travel assist they call it you can see it i test it in the test drive as well and here we have the controls for the cockpit i will show you in a second the cockpit has gorgeous resolution one of the best on the market so in terms of cockpit volkswagen stay really good you can see the map all over the screen you can move it like that you can customize in so many ways you can see in the middle information audio telephone vehicle status lap time that comes on this gti here are the driving data and information about the car, assistance systems, uh, the navigation and also media again. And I want to show you that when you are here on the driving data, you can even change and see the consumption in real time. The range, the speed, the road sign, the oil temperature and all kinds of stuff. The overview uh, it was before and also you can see the range but overview is the best. Anyway, really, really cool. I like the, the cockpit. It's much better than... Uh, most other car manufacturer and it's included in this price and this is great now i want to finish up with the multimedia as well multimedia it's kind of the same and what i notice is the fact that it has kind of the old uh, software behind it and how i know that is that it's it moves a little bit slower so i notice that on other volkswagen models it's much much faster for example on the electric versions like id pass uh, this is I, i'm not complaining that it's not fast but i see on the volkswagen cars even faster and um, that's something to keep in mind but it's relatively fine and also it's loading really fast you can see that it's loading in in no time so it has the latest is navigation and all that stuff anyway here's the home page where you can go uh, and on the home page you can go on the second page like that and here you can customize and add different information about the car and stuff like that uh, and also you can go into menu and in the menu you have all the information the most important information uh, on the settings are the language you can change the language time date units uh, and all that um, settings important settings of the car and then you have the sound settings here uh, because the car come with this beat sound system it's a great great sound system by the way guys uh, here are the controllers for the beat sound system uh, then it has this vehicle information most important if it has some errors the tires and all that stuff also you have a sport mode this sport mode come also only on the gti version and also when, while you're driving you can see the g meter and some kind of information here quite nice you have the digital cockpit you can customize it from here the driving data the consumption on the last kilometers you can see the consumption on the last almost 3000 kilometers 7.1 liters uh, and also vehicle status you see it before uh, now going back here are the application you can connect your android and apple phone here uh, simple on the car also i have a video where i show you that check it out on the channel the driver assistance systems are here where you can see all the safety features you can activate deactivate the adaptive cruise control front assist lane assist side assist traffic speed limit driver alert systems all those things you can control it and activate it and deactivate it and setting uh, setup from here setting them up 
navigation you already see it app connect vehicle i think i show most everything guys it's very simple i think you already see it on my channel before also you can see here speakers on on both a pillars with b uh, from beat logo there lovely sound system uh, the mirror up here is relatively fine visibility it's okay uh, also here you have a glassy support i love that this is great i wish i see it on all cars sos button information and uh, service and also some leds here and also i like the fact that we have an led here and a mirror and it feels good and also the quality overall it's a well 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 built car and i like it here we have the vents also good quality in the middle down here you have the climatic system that many people complain before but it's very easy you can get used with it it's super super easy uh, it's kind of a touch screen uh, but you can you can get through it super super simple and also you can turn it off from here it's nice integrated there down here you have two usb-c and the place where you can charge your phone and you can see um, that you have a place for even bigger phones to charge it wireless there and it's very useful that space uh, also you have this stalk uh, red stalk that uh, look a little bit sportier with a little bit of chrome down here also you have the great choice to go in drive and if you want to go in sport fast you just do it like that you are in sport if you go right you are in, in manual mode you can use it as manual up and down or you can use those pedals very simple reverse you see it before you have the reverse camera and then in parking and it's it's easy to to use it manual handbrake here you have an armrest that you can adjust it also a little bit of small spaces here quite small space where you can put different things space down here two cup holders 12 volt port down there uh, and also you have buttons here for example for start stop engine button traction control different driving modes by the way the car come with four driving modes echo normal sport mode and individual when you're going on the individual you can customize the way you want it the steering wheel the sport suspensions the driving the engine sound ac and air conditioning so this is cool i mean this is great that you have all these uh, options here this button is for assisting parking and also this is for parking sensors anyway and the last thing that i want to show you it's the fact that here you have some ambient light inserted and also you have this nice gray plate and the glow box it's relatively big and you have place there to put your things without any problem anyway that was the video guys i hope i kind of cover everything if you still have question ask me down below whatever you want to ask also i have already on the channel if it's not already on the channel click the subscribe button to see the notification when the test drive video will come out also i hope it was useful if you still have question ask me down below my rating for this volkswagen polo gti from 1 to 10 will be 9.8 i think it's a great car with a lot of features and the price is relatively good for what this car offer anyway guys that was the video if you are in switzerland around switzerland check out amag in bern i will leave the link in the description so you can check them out you can see the car test drive the car buy the car they are nice and i see sometimes they have good discounts also guys don't forget to like share subscribe i will really appreciate that also thank you very much to all of you that watching my video Stay safe and I see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.